and welcome back to Foundation Friday. Today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing oh shit. Today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I am in the color Light 46 Cool and I have some swatches here for you guys. Here we have Light 42, Light 44, and Light 46. Basically, this is a full coverage, 24-hour wear, transfer-resistant matte foundation. I definitely agree with the claims. I don't know about 24 hours because I don't leave it on that long, but it definitely lasts me. You know, if I apply it in the morning, it'll last me all day. I have oily skin, like in my T-zone, and um, it takes a while for the oil to come through. It usually comes through about after six hours of wear, which is really, really good. Nothing that a little powder can't fix. And it basically stays on until I wash it off. This stuff does not budge. I used to wear this back in the day and my skin was really, really bad back in the day. Like I had a lot of acne and just like my skin was terrible. It's the Locket foundation that's breaking me out. I stopped using this foundation and I was still getting breakouts. My skin was just terrible because of my diet because I just wasn't taking care of my skin. I wasn't drinking a lot of water. I wasn't taking any type of vitamins. I wasn't taking care of myself basically. So my skin is in a lot better condition now. I recently had a BBL facial. It's where they like, it's like a laser treatment. Um, and it got rid of all of my redness. That facial was very uncomfortable for me, but it was so worth it. It was amazing. I got it done here in Tucson, Arizona at Skin Appeal, the same place where I get my lip fillers. And that facial, like, at, the ladies that worked there were telling me, like, you're going to love it. It's amazing. And then I was like, okay, I was excited for it. And then, like, I didn't expect to get the results I got. So my skin is in great condition right now. And even though my skin is in great condition, I still love full coverage foundations like this. Just because I want, like, that flawless, airbrush-like skin. I adore this foundation. I think it is really, really great. If you have dry skin, I suggest like using a beauty oil. For days where I don't want so much coverage, because this gives a lot of coverage, I will mix this in with a moisturizer. For it being a super, super full coverage, it doesn't feel very, very heavy on the skin. I mean, if you go in with too much of this product, it's going to look ridiculous. It's going to look cakey. You're going to feel it. So make sure you start off with one to two pumps. I think I used two pumps for like my forehead, face, and a little bit onto my neck. So go in with very little and then build up if you need to. I heard a lot of people say like, oh, that foundation is so cakey. Like any foundation, if you go in with too much, it can look very, very cakey. So be careful with that and just make sure you take this off all the way. You want to make sure you're using like a Clarisonic. You want to make sure you're using a great cleanser to really get this stuff off of your face. It covers everything. You will not need concealer with that foundation. And um, yeah, I really, really enjoy it. And I'm going to go ahead and get into the demo so you guys can see it in action. I've been using the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base to prep my skin for foundation. I apply this about 10 minutes after I moisturize and I just really, really love it. I only use one pump. I feel like two Two pumps is too much, so um, just one pump. Packaging is cute, I guess. As I'm getting older, I really don't give a shit about packaging anymore. I just want the product to like work. We'll do two pumps back of my hand, and then I'm just going to do 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 do. Also, what I like to do with this foundation, when I don't want like super full coverage, I'll mix this with a moisturizer to just thin it out a bit. If you're looking for a super duper full coverage foundation, you're going to like this one. I like this foundation with a beauty blender. I just, you guys, if you know me, you know I like using brushes. Flat top kabuki. Flat top style kabuki brushes. This is from Pure Cosmetics. There's no like style or number on this. It's just it says Pure. 
I don't know. This is what I'm using. I'm gonna go in. And with this foundation, I like to just like push it, push it, pounce it, bounce it, stipple it. And you can see just the coverage is so, 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 so good. It has a little bit of fragrance. And when I wear this foundation, I do not go in with a concealer because it's just not necessary. It covers everything. So it's really, really nice. I'm going to do the rest of my face, my forehead. love that it doesn't like show any texture on the skin it just like smooths everything out minimizes pores all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this foundation friday if you've been curious about a foundation and you want to know my thoughts on it leave a comment down below i always read the comments and jot down um your guys's suggestions and definitely consider what you guys want to see. So Thanksgiving is just around the corner. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. And I actually just filmed this makeup tutorial. That'll be up in a few days. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Probably on Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, I snap a lot. You may get tired of me. But you can follow me there. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, SoundCloud, Facebook. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace.